Okay, picture this. You are lifting off the throttle into a corner, and your car still sticks like glue to the track. Not magic, just engineering wizardry called hot and cold blowing. And yes, the FIA was not amused. So what even is blowing? Think of it as teams weaponizing exhaust fumes to create more grip. They pointed hot gases at the rear diffuser to supercharge airflow. More downforce, better cornering. Cold blowing? Engine puffing air even when you are not accelerating. Hot blowing? Wild. Teams literally ignited fuel in the exhaust pipes to keep the magic going. Why it worked? Normally you back off the gas you lose grip. But with this trick? You keep the downforce on demand, especially mid-corner. Red Bull was flying, Vettel's RB7 was so planted it looked glued to the track. In qualifying it was untouchable. Kinda unfair. Kinda genius. So who cooked this madness up? Adrian Newey, the tech sorcerer at Red Bull. He is the guy who sees airflow like Neo sees the Matrix. Renault's engine squad. They wrote engine maps that let cold blowing happen. Basically kept the throttle open even when the driver lifted off, um, McLaren and Ferrari? Took it nuclear, igniting fuel in the exhaust. Risky, but brutal. Why the FIA said nope? It was pushing the rules on aero, especially the whole no moving parts thing. Also, hot blowing wasted fuel like crazy. Bad for engines, bad for the planet. By 2012, the FIA shut it down. No more ghost grip. If this blew your mind, pun very much intended, smash that like button and hit subscribe. Because next time, we are diving into the F-duct, a loophole so cheeky it made McLaren fly without wings.